Hi everyone, this is Dr. Bupesh from Dr. BKM Institutes and today we are going to have a very special class which is of grammar because normally we do grammar but you know we do in the writing so obviously there are certain things which get mis mismatched so I'm just going to make it easier for you so today the major thing that we are going to discuss is grammar and I would try my level best to make it precise and concise for you and we'll try to make it easy for you. So if I talk about grammar, coming directly onto the point, when it comes to OET, grammar is not too varied because we always write OET in a very simple way. OET letters, we do not have to use vocabulary. We do not have to write anything. So basically, when it comes to the grammar of OET, that is also very simple and there is nothing to worry. So first of all, let me tell you about this thing, which primarily we'll discuss a lot of things, including grammar. So yeah, starting it from here. The only thing that I want you to remember forever, forever, the most common tense that is used in OET grammar is past indefinite. The question arises, why past indefinite? Why is that that we use the past indefinite tense? The answer is very simple because if we have a visit letter, then there is only one letter, one, one visit that is today visit that comes in the present perfect tense. Apart from today's visit, every visit, whether it is three days ago, three years ago, five months ago, or even yesterday, everything is past. So obviously that tells us why this is the most important tense, past indefinite. And when it comes to past indefinite, the only thing that you have to remember is second form. And when you are making a passive voice, then you have to use was plus third form. If you can remember this thing, I promise you, grammar will not be a problem in OET for you. Only this thing, second form and passive voice was plus third form. That's it. This is OET, grammar, if you will ask me. Let us discuss in detail. Suppose, as I have told you in visit letter, suppose if you are talking about a past visit, whether it is five months ago, 10 months ago, even yesterday. Suppose today's late date is 28 January and the data that is given is 27 January. So it is very important for you, right? If today's date is 28 January, so 27 January, you cannot mention the date. So you should write yesterday. So yesterday, now look at the grammar. So active means whatever thing has happened by itself. Jo kaam apne aap ho hai. Passive voice means the work is done by someone. Kisi ke dwara ho hai. So let's say yesterday the patient complained. So patient is complaining by himself. That is why it is an active voice. So I'm putting this as a second form. That is how simple it is. So it is second form. Yesterday, the patient complained of fever, nausea, and vomiting. Suppose if there are more than three symptoms, you will say, along with that, he was also having other symptoms. It can be anything like headache and uh, rigors or chills, so whatever the symptoms are. So that is how simple it will become for you when you will understand this thing. <clears throat> that basically it is an active voice. So you have to write second form. Because patient complained of means there is no third party involved. Then after the symptoms, we examine the patient. So when it comes to OET, Past tense, we write on examination. Now this is passive voice. Because signs means we are doing that. Sign ka matlab hai ki hum kar rahe hai, kaam ho rahe hai. 
सो so, हमारे द्वारा पेशेंट को पाया जा रहा है सो ऑन एग्जामिनेशन नाउ पैसिव वॉइस मीन वॉज प्लस थर्ड फॉर्म द पेशेंट वॉज फ्रॉम विथ वॉज प्लस थर्ड फॉर्म दिस इज द सीक्रेट बस इफ यू कैन मेक दिस थिंग राइट यू आर गुड टू गो फॉर वेट एग्जाम वेन इट इज कंसर्न अबाउट ग्रामर सो ऑन एग्जामिनेशन द पेशेंट वॉज फाउंड विद टेंडरनेस एंड एलिवेटेड टेम्परेचर दीज आर दाइंस विच विल बी गिवन वट एवर वुड बी गिवन यू विल राइट द सेम थिंग मेक इट वेरी सिंपल सो दिस इज अव पेशेंट वॉज फाउंड विद After examination on the basis of symptoms and signs, we assess the patient. We diagnose the patient. So we say, therefore, because he was having these signs and symptom, therefore, he was assessed with. If question mark is given, then you will say, therefore, he was suspected with. Question mark means it is not sure, so it is suspected with. If diagnosis word is given, then you will say patient was diagnosed with. Again, a passive voice. हमारे द्वारा, doctors के द्वारा, he was assessed with, suspected with, or diagnosed with. इन तीनों में से एक use करना है. Out of these three, one has to be used. If assessment word is given, then I will use this. If question mark is given, then I will use this. If diagnosis word is given, then I will use this. He was diagnosed with whatever the disease has been given then coma then i will say for which paracetamol or any medication was advised whatever would be given so this is also a passive voice medication was commenced so that means in oet past tense or grammar this is the only place symptoms where you use the active voice rest of all the occasions which are done by us is a passive voice so was were third form this is the only grammar that you have to remember and this is what is so very special about oet even when it comes to discharge letter suppose you are discharging the patient then the data which you have done during hospitalization during hospitalization is a not a word to mug up ye ratta maarne ka word nahi hai during hospitalization मीन्स इफ यू आर डिस्चार्जिंग द पेशेंट तो आपने हॉस्पिटल के दौरान क्या क्या किया यानी कि पास में क्या क्या किया अगेन ड्यूरिंग हॉस्पिटलाइजेशन द पेशेंट सफर्ड फ्रॉम अगेन सेकेंड फॉर्म सेम सिम्टम्स अलोंग विद दैट ही वॉज हैविंग सेम ऑन एग्जामिनेशन ही वॉज फाउंड विथ सेम विद फ्रैक्चर वट so plaster cast was applied suppose if it is a case of fracture then your plaster cast was applied again by us it is a passive voice again so only the first one would be second form and rest would be was were third form so plaster cast was applied also medications were pain relieving medications were prescribed ya given jo bhi wahan pe word diya so this is the only grammar that we have in oet that is why oet is the simplest test to be taken in the world please understand use this right grammar so there are certain words jo aapko confuse karte hain which confuse you like wound heal ho gaya so wound was healed wound hamare dwara heal nahi hota wound apne aap heal hota hai wound heals by itself so there you don't make a passive voice You say wound got healed. So always remember this got. Ho gaya got second form. Again, it is an active voice. These are the exceptions that you need to remember. His condition got improved. This is another grammar that you use in OET. So his condition got improved. And then in the same way, there are other things. कुछ भी जो अपने आप हो रहा है wound got healed. His condition. अगर सूचर्स रिमूव किए हैं सो सूचर्स विल बी रिमूव बाय अस इट इज अव सो सूचर्स वर रिमूव बिकॉज इट वुड बी डन बाय अस सो दैट इज वाई इट इज अव सूचर्स वर रिमूव बट वूड गोट हील्ड बाय हिमसेल्फ इट सेल्फ हिज कंडीशन गोट इम्प्रूव बाय हिम इट सेल्फ हिज कंडीशन गोट डिटीरियोरेटेड अपने आप आपने नहीं की इट इज नॉट अव इट है 
even after giving medications you can make a better sentence even after giving medications his condition got deteriorated means khatam ho gayi kam ho gayi so got means ho gayi apne aap automatically it happened by itself wound got healed condition got improved. so always understand in your own language and when it is a passive voice was were third form because sutures were removed by us मेडिकेशंस वर गिवन बायस मेडिकेशन अगर चेंज की है इफ यू हैव चेंज एनी मेडिकेशन तो मेडिकेशंस सो द पैरासिटामोल वाज चेंज टू आइबोप्रोफेन व्हाट एवर आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग इट एज एन एग्जांपल सो दैट इज व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एक्टिव एंड पैसिव वॉइस सो कंसाइजिंग दिस और ब्रीफिंग द हाइलाइट्स that the most important tense in oet is past indefinite past indefinite means second form active and in exam you will write it for sure and passive is was were third form this is passive so means symptoms are part of active voice and signs signs diagnosis and treatment are majorly the parts of passive voice so this is the best way i can tell you in an easy way that this is what oet is all about this is dr bupesh from dr bkm institute talking about the most important tense of oet that is the past indefinite tense and please subscribe our channel if you have not our number is 7696734256 for the best oet coaching thank you